while ago. This was like back in September or October when I first started the university at Plymouth. Um, they were telling, they were asking students to like submit artworks. So it'll be put up in the town's or the city's bank, which is Barclays. And I submitted one and it's going on the pillar. So I'm going to go to Barclays Bank and get my picture taken and everything. It's all very new and exciting, guys. It's exciting. And the funny thing is, the illustration that I drew, it's actually of New York and it was and it was supposed to like go on Link NYC. If you don't know what's that, it's like the electronic digital billboard that New York has and it was supposed to go on there, but I didn't finish the third piece because when you submit for Link NYC you need three illustrations and I only had two so I never made it to New York but it's coming to Plymouth and I think that's just so funny um, I got a glimpse of it the other day and it's on like a really big pillar inside the bank and it's just so cool I can't wait to show you guys so this is Barclays it's quite a big bank actually and the pillars are on the inside. I don't know if you can see my illustration, so we're gonna have to go in and check it out. I don't think I captioned that I wouldn't have done alone in New York. So I made a little illustration book and I made a little paper envelope to kind of hold it together. Um, this was all done on Procreate. So it's the cover written and illustrated by Sunny Wu. I think I collect rocks and shells on beaches or photograph skies highlighted by soft orange streaks to externalize how I feel and quantify how much I feel. Found any treasures, you ask? I either shake or nod. The gesture doesn't matter because I know that every rock, sunrise, and sunset are valuable when I'm with you. I have an urge to carry home the entire beach and wrap myself with golden skies because sometimes it takes astronomical concepts to comprehend that the smallest aspects in life are the most fundamental, like splitting a mochi again and again for each other until our fingers feel too big and clumsy, or crying out in happy unison over sheep on spotty green earths.
or drifting to sleep as your fingertips gently stroke the slope of my nose. In those moments, I think, what a simple life. I hope it stays. A little bit about today's sponsor, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone. You may know Skillshare for classes in photography, film, and video editing and illustration, but it also has hundreds of career-focused classes too. I hope this year I can better market myself in terms of illustration and reach more clients. I took this class called Make Creativity Your Career by Andy J. Pizza and it was so thorough and fun to watch. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Go check out Skillshare now. Just took that off the canvas frame. It's good enough to be sat on or stepped on, right? Is it? I'm going to be tufting a new rug today. I'm gonna plan it out and I have to draw it first, but hopefully it's gonna turn out a lot better. So I'm just gonna draw the design on my iPad first and then trace it, not trace it, but like use a Sharpie and redraw it on the canvas. Oh, I got a new iPad by the way. Um, and look, I don't know if you can see it, but I personali personalized it with a little star because I love stars. Um, but yeah, it's because the last one that I had was it only has 32 gigabytes and that lasted me four years. So I just kept deleting my drawings and then transferring them to my MacBook, but my MacBook doesn't even have any more space. So every time I use Procreate to draw, it just glitches out and like... So this is the design that we're going for. Um, it's a flower that I drew in one of my sketchbooks and I really liked it. But hopefully I'll be able to do something that even resembles this and I'll be happy.
It's too hot in here. Look how my ceramics turned out. Sorry for the noise. Fish and chips bag. And your order number. I'm having a really good hair day today, so let me have it.
from a movie scene to main a people in my dreams. The last time, if I recall, was a feeling of being alone. I don't know if where I'm going isn't far, but in case I go, no need to be stressed. Gotta take it. I just got out of the ceramic studio and making that little gourd vessel just made my day so much happier. I was feeling kind of sad last night and also this morning. Not really sure why. Just like the little things, I guess. But like moods are so weird. Like I feel like for me, if someone like a stranger on the streets like beat me up and robbed me I would still be fine but like as soon as someone in my life looks at me the wrong way or like does like a small gesture it like will completely ruin me and I'll be like crying my eyes out do you know what I mean like moods are so weird there's like no level as to what could happen that could equate me to feel a certain sense of pain like a certain level does that make sense